I recently bought this computer diagnostic software. It is some kind of Delphi diagnostic clone. They are calling it Delphi DS150. I paid only 50 euros for this, but when I compare the functionality, it is similar to 500 or even 1000 dollar scan tools. So you are getting this connection box. There are a few to choose from. I chose this Bluetooth one, but if I wanted to, I still can make it completely wired connection with this USB cable that was included. And I also got two diagnostic software CDs. One is Delphi and one is this Autocom, but I wasn't able to install this one. But I only received it yesterday, so I might be able to find out how to install this software as well. But right now only one installed is this Delphi and I will show you what it can do. By the way, if you want to save money on buying a scanner, I have completely free PDF which you can download. This complete guide will explain all scanner's functions and also list out the best picks that are really greatest value for money, starting from $15. You can download it in link in description and that will also sign you up for my newsletter. You will also receive future best scanners I will find. But now let's take this Delphi and connect it to our vehicle. Check it out, it also have built-in flashlight, so you can use it to search for your OBD part. When you have the program installed, you don't have to have your DVD in computer. So that means even if you have laptop without CD-ROM, you can just download the software. I am sure that the seller on AliExpress will send you link to download it. This is how it looks like once you open the program. It will ask you for vehicle specification. Before we start to use these advanced functions, you can go to this eOBD or global OBD. Okay, so now it is finding protocol and this eOBD will act exactly like basic engine code reader. Communication failed. Wait, maybe I forgot to turn on the ignition. I forgot to turn on the ignition. Remember that always when you're using scanner you need to have ignition on. Now it is on. Let's try it again. Now it should be able to find out which protocol it is. This should be the KV2000. Yes, and we are inside. Okay, so what you can do, you are getting same functions as code reader. Here we can see our readiness monitors. This is the protocol it is using. We can read fault codes. There are three global OBD modes that read fault codes. One is for current codes. Second is for permanent codes and last is for ending codes. On the right I could also make a diagnostic report or print it out. Then we have clear diagnostic information. This would clear out default codes. I don't want to do that right now. And also you can watch the real time engine data. See now I can look at all these values or even display them in graphic format. That is that EOBD and that function acts basically like simple engine code reader. However, this Delphi software also packs some pro features that can be found in that professional tablet scan tools. And now I will show you everything that it can do. Okay, so I will go back and now you actually have to input vehicle information to use these professional features. I already have it selected. This is Fiat Punto. Here you can select the brand, just press F and you can find it quickly so fiat punto it is 2004 okay 2004 and we can go ahead and perform system scan okay so not just the engine module like engine code reader with this we can actually scan all of our control modules same as professional scan tool i will go ahead and press this button ignition on engine not running i have ignition on it wants me to select petrol or diesel this is petrol and I will go ahead and press this play button to start scan. Okay, and we have our scan completed. We have some faults. I have to press this arrow and it will show me fault codes. This is engine module. There is also this DTC assist. Doesn't work for all codes, but for some codes it is able to give you some more information. For, for example, this code P0500 vehicle speed sensor it will list out these probable causes for this code okay, let me show you if you need more help with fault codes what you can do is go to my website imcarhacker.com go to bottom to the search bar type in the code for example po500 and i have guides to solve 
hundreds of different fault codes. Okay, so you will open this guide and you have full overview, meaning of the code, probable causes, how to diagnose fault code, and also few of the reports from Real Mechanics solving this code on different vehicles. Okay, now let's check other modules. We also have some fault in restraints. So airbag system, control unit power supply, value low. I could also erase all fault codes. I don't want to do that right now. Okay, now we can leave the system search. So basically searching for fault codes. And I will show you other functions you can do. By the way, also check it out. I have my car selected and it even shows you the location of your OBD part. See that is exactly the location of OBD part in my vehicle. Okay, so now let's go over more advanced functions. Check it out. First you can display the real-time data, so live data, but from all modules. Now we are in body module and all this data are just for body module, like brake fluid level, door locking feedback, stuff like that. And same as the live data in engine, you can display them in graph mode. Now with data like this, there isn't real value, so you don't get the graph, but you could also display a lot of this data in graphic format. We also have few of the pre-made data list here. What you can do next is go to this adjustment, basically service procedures. For body module, we have the key programming. So with this 50 euro scanner, I could program a new keys as well. And you will have features like this also for other control modules. Don't forget that we are only in the one module. Now we are inside the body control module. Then we have also this component activation. So bi-directional testing, for example, turn on my direction indicators. Check it out, we can also try locking. And this car doesn't even have remote locking. It has central locking, but it doesn't have remote locking on the key. And with the computer ability to scanner, we are able to control the locks. We can also turn on the lights, for example. Okay, so it is bi-directional. So with it, you can control different components. And there are different bi-directional tests for each control module. This is just body module. Now let's go to the engine. Here, let me select this petrol. This is engine control module. For example, we can test our engine cooling fan. AC compressor. Or even test their fuel injectors. One test for each injector. This is test for our EVAP valve. Okay, so this might be one of the things when this laptop scanner would be worse than scan tool. Because on scan tool, you can also check the live data while we are doing these bidirectional tests. Because sometimes the test isn't just simple like with engine fan, you just turn it on and you hear it that it is spinning so you know it is working. But for some other tests, I would want to look at that value simultaneously when I am running my bidirectional tests. But anyways, this is really advanced scanner and for the 50 euros I paid, I am sure you won't be able to find anything that has more functionality than this. And you don't have to pay any subscription, you don't need internet connection, and it even works wirelessly. Okay, we can also erase our faults, erase codes, but we are left with two codes that cannot be erased because PO500 is already back, so this is permanent fault. So check engine light probably won't even go away. Oh! It disappeared, but it started flashing because we have ongoing problem. Anyways, I am amazed how much value you can get from this cheap scanner. 